we have the updated intercooler printing. I print this and this is different pieces and then this will be the final piece that goes on. Uh, as soon as that's printed, I have the bracket. I'll probably start test fitting and messing with this in the bracket. It's like five millimeters smaller. So what we're doing is we're removing one row from the core. And then when I get the final test piece, when I get this final tank printed out, I'll take it all off, put the tank on, and then I'll reinstall it. Busy week. So you're going to take both stock intercoolers out first and then test with the prototype? Yeah, I'll pull both stock intercoolers and then I'll put both of the test, uh, both of the prototype intercoolers in. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to take a line that we have here and we're going to run all the cooler lines and see how we want to run them. Because some of them will have to be repositioned. Yeah, and it'll probably come with all new, well, it will come with all new lines. Um, they're in relatively the same posi position, but they'll be slightly different. Okay. Is that intercooler pipe? Yeah, so this is the turbo to intercooler coupler. This is not going to fit with this one, so when I tried to put this in, it just hits this. But um, it's going to come with two new couplers since the inlet of this intercooler is a lot bigger than the inlet of the factory intercooler. Gosh, so it's just the change of the coupler itself. Yeah, so the couplers will be different. The couplers here will be different, and the couplers here will be different as well. So it'll come with a kit. They're bigger? Yeah. Um, bigger in diameter. Well, you can't go too much bigger with that in diameter with the throttle body. Mm -hmm. That limits how far away it is from the thing. Uh, from this outlet to this inlet, it, they're so close to each other, you really just, like, the best way to do it is to match the, to match the outlet, because we can't go down in size that quickly. Gotcha. But for this, we do have a little bit of leeway to go from the turbo size to a bigger inlet to allow some better flow. What's it going to be made out of? Um, it's all going to be made out of aluminum. So, Cast aluminum? The end tanks will be cast, and you'll have a bar and plate core. Um, this top piece will be sheet aluminum, um, and then you'll have a bottom tank, uh, also made out of cast. So your coolant will come in. It'll come up through and then back out this side. So all this has to do pretty much is just to act as a place for the coolant to stop and make a U-turn. And the fins inside will dictate the flow. What we did was we had fins that were pointed this way and then they go to a 45 degree angle and then they push all the coolant across and then 45 degree and come out again. So it kind of dictates the coolant flow in like a U. Like initially it looks really good. Um, this fits really tight down into the valve cover. Uh, so the valve cover has a little gully where this goes. And the stock one uses that gully like a little bit. But what I did was to push these down as far as I can because they're a lot bigger. Because I pushed it really far down into the allowable area of the valve cover. If you look down in there, you can oh, see yeah. where like, you know, there's some cutouts to allow for the... Um, the stock one and what we did was just utilize that space a lot tighter so you just got a lot closer so you can make it thicker yeah make it thicker and even now um we're gonna have to push the engine cover up about 15 millimeters so we're just gonna take up the space in between the engine cover and the and the bottom of the hood mm -hmm. and um push the engine cover up a little bit mike fabricated this bracket for us that we could test fit the bracket to our prototype. It's gonna use existing stock mounting points? Yeah, so the two, the two stock mounting points on the bottom will still be in the same spot. Uh, the OEM intercooler used a much larger bracket that went underneath, but what we'll do is we'll just use a smaller bracket that'll go to the side of the port. I think there might be a few adjustments, but very small adjustments just to make it so that. What for the, the bracket? Yeah, I think the bracket will stay the same. I think like this guy can probably move back a little bit, only so that I'm not taking up so much of the tolerance. Um, just the mounting point you're talking. Yeah, just the mounting points. I'd rather have a little more slack, as you can see, like this guy's moved all the way forward. So. 
if we can move this a tiny bit, then it gives us more leeway to go back and forth rather than being on an extreme. But right now, like with our tolerances, it fits. It's just we're at the extreme of some of them. But that's just minor adjustments. Another thing we can do is make the holes a little bit bigger. And it'll like, give a, us like an oval shaped or like a... Yeah. So we give ourselves some more tolerance, then it makes the final product fit better. Where this white line is, is where we're gonna change it to. Um, and that's only because the distance from here to here is a lot more than from here to here on this one. So if I wanted to use this intercooler width, it would hit the intake and or this wiring harness here. Um, so what we decided to do is just make it, it's like five millimeters smaller. So what we're doing is we're removing one row from the core um, and it'll be better fitment and it'll allow for better fitment too to put this um, this oil catch can somewhere, which is probably gonna go like here or, or maybe back here. Um, which I'm gonna make a mounting point on the new scan on the new print, and then hopefully have Mike bend me up a bracket for that as well. What we have here is spacers for the engine cover itself. It fits like it were OEM, just about 15 millimeters higher, but that also gives it some leeway. So there's about 10 millimeters between this highest point and the engine, or uh, and the hood. Um, so that'll give some leeway for the engine to move around and stuff, so it's not gonna touch, but it's still gonna fit with our intercoolers, and it's still gonna look good. So if you do choose to keep the engine covered, you still can. We're gonna make drawings for our core, which will be a bar and plate core, for our tanks, which will be cast aluminum. What we'll do is we'll, we'll get a sample that's fully powder coated and ready to go as it were to be a production model and then we'll do testing on that.